Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Play. My name is Rodney Smith and we're here at GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day in Atlanta 2016. I'm here with Kristen Looney from Looney Labs. Hi there. Hi, nice to have you back on the show Thank again. You. And you brought with you a big game. I did. I brought you a big game called Pyramid Arcade. Yes. And this uh, is kind of a unique uh, production, really. Yeah, it's the biggest thing we've ever made. Yeah. Uh, we normally make the little card game flux yes, and that's right. all the little card games. But yeah, we, we made a big box board game. And, and I think there's kind of an interesting history mm -hmm. behind this game. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about you know, how this came to be and, and what kind of makes Well, it it's unique. a long story. We've actually been working on this for 25 years, 20, 25 okay. years. Uh, we've been designing games that work with these little pyramids. Um, and uh, this is now the culmination of all of that, the best games that have been developed over those 25 years, um, and some new ones that are, that are just published for the first time in here. Um, and he's been saving up some of his more recent designs. Okay. For about the last five years, we've been working towards this goal. Yeah, if you look at the table um, right now, you can see like all these various components, and these don't just make up one game, right? They yep. make up. So, how many are included in the box? Twenty-two. Twenty-two yeah. different. Twenty-two names, games. Right? Twenty of them are designed by Andy. Mm -hmm. One was designed by me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the best one. Actually, it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when you when you that pull was a softball no, question. No, 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 when you pull the community of Starship <laughs> yes. Captains, which is yes. the fans of the games, um, they really do like Volcano okay. a lot, which is my game. <laughs> Um, so, but there's wonderful, wonderful games sure. in there, um, and one game designed by um, his best friend um, John Cooper um, is a game called Homeworlds, um, which is the hardest. I mean, it's the the, the most strategic game in the in the. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just to um, point so. out, like this is the, the rule book, and it's just uh, all these different games are in here now. Mm -hmm. Like a single game is you know stripped over. You you opened payment. it right to Homeworlds. There's Homeworlds right there, <laughs> and some of them are some of them be, some of them are uh, yeah. take longer, a little more complex, and then some yeah. of them are. That's the only one lighter. in the box of the, that I won't play. Oh really? So, yeah, <laughs> the rest of them I love and I play them all the time. That one is There's deep deep color strategy. Wheel. Color wheel is um, one we actually have yeah, here on the table right now, mm -hmm. and uh, and they they play all varieties of mm -hmm. counts of players, right? Like yep in, yep. It's one solo even, one right? to ten players. Okay. Um, there's even a chart here. Um, at the beginning, that, that you can look up and see number of players you have yeah, and which, which games you're, you're able to, to play. So it breaks it down. If you know how many players you are, you can pick between those. Right. And I think there's like four different games you can play with ten people. Okay, um, excellent. There's and one solitaire game, which is a cooperative game, which is Color Wheel that we're going to play here. Yeah, well, so. maybe we could, and there's, yeah, there's an index at the back here as well, right, showing all the different games and giving you, again, a quick summary of it, is it a faster or slower game, is it simpler or yep. more complex? I mean, people yeah. plays and so on. Yeah. Well, yeah. and there's also the cards. There's just sort of a playable table of contents that has all that same information. Um, so okay, so this you can you can almost if you want to you can shuffle them up, draw something randomly, or you, you could, can just go or you can say, hey, easy. let's pick between these four, and then I can show you those four, and you can pick between them, oh, nice. or we can randomly okay. between those. Lots of different ways you can pick which games to play with with the cards. And there was so much so. in the box, we couldn't show you everything. In fact, there's even more of these pyramid pieces inside this bag here, and there's another board over here, and this uh, opens up, and we have. We have this side here, and then we have a world map as well. All yep. right, so. so it's all the components you need to play the 22 games that come right. in the box. Well, so. maybe, maybe we could go to the table and just do a quick little, a few turns of Color Wheel. You can kind of show me you know, an idea Absolutely. how this works. Sounds good. Sure. So we're going to play Color Wheel. Um, there's, two, there's only two rules. It's very simple. Um, you can swap any two pieces of the same size yes. or of the same color. And I noticed that okay. the ones that have the same size, they actually have these little pips etched mm -hmm. into the side of them, right? So yeah, this there's is three two points here, and three two and one. Yeah. one. It shows you the sizes. Um, and that comes into play in different games in lots of different ways. Sure. Um, here it's just the swapping of sizes and colors. So um, let's say we want to start with red. Okay. Okay, for example. And you're trying to cluster all the reds together. So, for example, here we have some reds already near each other. So yeah, let's say we're going to trade yeah. this two-point piece for this two-point piece. Because they're the same size, we can swap them. Sure. And so we would do this and this. And I'm going to then take one of these pieces and lay it down over here because I'm counting the number of moves it takes to do the whole right. board. Okay. Because this is a, a fully cooperative mm -hmm. mode of play, right? We're trying to do it as quickly as possible together. Uh, quick doesn't actually matter at all. We, well, we need to do it um, in With 27 the, uh, sorry, moves. Yes, yes. Not like speed in time, no, no. But, but speed in moves. Before yes. we run out of the pieces to yeah. place. Yeah. yeah. And this so, is deceptive. It might not look like we have a lot of pieces here. We've, there's pieces underneath. Either, yeah, either. these are actually, we can put them as trees here as well. Right, so. they stack in different ways. Yeah, well, I, I can see a good move already, I think. Okay. Uh, I, if I can move this one with here, yep. this will bring yep. some red That's together, an right? Move. So, so those like are the that. same size, so you can flip them, and then I turn one of these over on its side. Okay. Okay. What else um, we got to get over here? Let's do, let's move this one over here, maybe? Sure. that attaches yep, that to that. Good. So those are the same, like that. That's going to cost us some time. Now, what about, we'd like to get 
this. Right. Now, yeah, this here. shows a perfect example of how you need to also sometimes change color. Because right. we want to move this one here, but they're not the same size. Right. So, how do we, so do we need to swap this oh, with and this, yeah. for okay. example. Sure. Same color. So we can swap those two like that. And now we could swap these two because they're the same size. And yep. have we got all the red together? I think we do. Look at that. Okay, and so and then you would yep. keep doing that until you separated all yep. them, and then you had yeah. your, your. And I would here. say I would say do purple next. I would want to do one right up next to the reds, um, so you don't end up with some spaces weird in gaps. the middle. Weird gaps. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You don't want yeah. weird gaps. So I would do these two right here, like that, and then these two like here, and then I'm quickly getting my purples together too. I can tell you've done this before. I have done this before. <laughs> yes. So that's just one example. That's that's yeah. color wheel. Maybe why I we, love this game. This is one of my favorite. This is one of the six that are completely new. In oh, this completely set. new to this. Set yeah, here. It okay. is new to the pyramid arcade. Right. So. Why, don't, why don't we uh, set up uh, something so, totally different? So mm -hmm. we'll just step away for a second. We'll come right back and we'll have okay. something totally unique. <laughs> All right. All right. We've got a new game set up for you. This is called Verticality, and we've actually started the gameplay already. We've, we're a couple of turns in already, just to kind of show you the progress of the game. But would you mind giving us a little overview of what we do on a turn? All right. Well, this is very simple. We roll the die to see what size piece we're going to do next. Okay. I'll, I'll roll it right now. All right. All right. So this is actually because you rolled a three two, you do the the size that's not there, which is a one. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. So, right. so, so we're, we're going to do the little smallest? ones. Yeah, All right. The smallest. All right. All right. You have to use one hand. All right. One we're hand. We're each going to put three pieces on. They have to go, they have to be touching each other. Oh and you can, now you can shove them once you put them on. So you can put it you can push right, around you can a little push bit. them around. You okay. can put it right in the center. And then with your next one, well, you I'll can push that. it over a little bit. Hmm. Not quite as important with the small ones, but when you're trying to put a large one on top, yes. we'll, we'll see what the next level does for us. Okay. All right, and they have to be touching. So we got our three. Pretty, pretty close right. there. All right. All right. All right, and then you put a card on top. All right, put on top. All right, and roll again. Roll again. Okay. Yeah. So now we're not seeing the three. So now right. I have to go with a large one. Oh, large I, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. All right. Let's see what we can do. I don't want to be the one to drop this first. Okay. Feeling pretty good. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's wobbly. <laughs> you, look, you're doing it so casually, it's, it's, it's unnerving here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So, what, am, I, am I out? Am I, out. I, <laughs> yeah. I just won the game. But I'm going to keep going sure. anyway. Sure, sure. Show us so, another level. Here's that. Here, roll for me. Let's see, how, okay. high, let's see how, I, how high I can get it. Okay, two. Two. All right. Not bad. Because if you set it originally over on the edge, the whole thing's going to fall. Now you tell me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> there you go. Not very tall after all. <laughs> That's right. I so remember yeah, it's I, verticality. I played this uh, earlier. Uh, Pep and I played it. And I think we got about maybe about this high. Yeah, Andy's pretty, really good at this game. He can make high. these giant towers. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they, they can go. Yeah, you need a steady hand and get them really built strong. I, I thought that was just kind of an so. interesting one to show because it's, it's so different than mm -hmm. Color Wheel, for example. And this also, again, comes with these cards that aren't just used for stacking in a tower, but also for other Yep, other this is a square deck of well. card that we use for Zark City. Yes. Um, and it's a five-suit deck. Um, there's clubs, hearts, diamonds. Right. Clubs and so these are all, stars. Right, like these... Yeah, I'll it's a suit. There. Okay. Yeah. And so that's just two of, of 22. Of 22. <laughs> <case. Yep. laughs> well, that's a pretty good overview, I think. I and mean, of course, there's much more to explore in the box. There's different boards that you can use for different styles yep. of game as well. Also, there's these cute little boards that do that's different right. Oh, yeah. Things. I should mention that we so, might not have seen this when they were all laid out. This one is battle battle. But they're, they're double-sided, so there's yep. other... Other things on each side as well. Yeah, and you can oftentimes there's enough components that you can play multiple games at the same time. We do this thing called a throwdown, okay. where you pick three different games that all the components are available to do three at the same time, and then two players play the three games simultaneously. Very nice. So you just so, divide up the colors and, and such. Yeah, you have to. They space. have to be. You know, like like Color Wheel uses so many of the pieces. <laughs> right. Yes. You, yeah. There's not very many games you can play with what's left over yep. after Color Wheel. But most of them don't use you know all the components. Okay. So you could have um, multiple games so, at once. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, thanks yeah. for that overview so, and, and showing welcome. us a couple samples and, and making me lose. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try again? <laughs> no. After the light, cameras are off. Okay. <laughs> but until the next episode, to all the rest of you, thanks for watching. Thanks.